Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. And today, I want to talk about if Oblivion needs more gear. And what I mean by gear is two things. Another, maybe one or two sets of weapon and armor classes for both light armor and heavy armor. Or, another just set of gear where it's like Morrowind, where you have left and right bracers and left and right shoulder pads, or maybe medium armor, you know? So to start off with, I think Oblivion definitely for sure needs um, some extra tier above Glass and Diedrich. Like two tiers above Glass and Diedrich. You know, I think that you get Diedrich and Glass armor so early on in the game that, you know, I like end game managing enchanted armor, but the end game of armor and weapons for Oblivion comes so fast that... I really think that it comes too fast, you know? I think getting that glass, that Diedrich stuff, really just, there needs to be more to the game. You know, I don't think necessarily making it so those things come at a longer area would be nice because I definitely, as a player, I, I definitely appreciate that I'm not spending time, enchant the mithril thing, oh, you know, you get a light iron thing, enchant the light iron thing, oh, you get a glass thing, you know, I like how or you get an elven thing, you know, I like how I'm not spending my time enchanting something, then I get a next tier, then I enchant something, and then I get the next tier, you know. I really like that that doesn't happen in Oblivion. But, I think that there could be more tiers, for sure, because, I mean, level, level 45 is a long way in Oblivion, and by the time you get there, you probably have all your gear, you know. Now, another thing that I think could happen is maybe not necessarily another armor class because i like there's two light armors there's two heavy armors but i think more armor pieces for me i would like a shoulder pad set that's something i would totally dig is a shoulder pad set and um maybe like uh maybe another set of armor where it's like you know, you do the left and right bracers or gauntlets and stuff like that. I totally like that. I think that's a great idea. Because it offers more specialization in this game. Because I feel like a lot of my characters, at the end of my Oblivion playthroughs, when I'm done playing a character, they just aren't as specialized as I wish they were. I wish I could specialize them way more, you know? I think also adding in uh, rings to every finger, you know? Maybe not the thumb, you don't have to add it to the thumb, but I mean, you got eight fingers. Let us wear eight rings and just go ham. You know, I like that, you know, I like that you can't combine, like if you have a mundane ring, you can't wear two of them. I think that's totally cool. You know, I think that's a great part of the game where, you know, you have to get creative with your enchanted stuff. It makes, you, makes that one mundane ring really special and really not just, oh, let's, put on two mundane rings and, you know, a bunch of rings of thievery and we're fine. No, you gotta use your brain with your rings and stuff like that. I think that's a great thing. But I just wish that, you know, there's more specialization. I think higher tier because, you know, enchanting stuff is fun, but when it's like, okay, I have this Curious that fortifies Light Arbor 5. I'm just waiting to find an upgraded version. I think having more types of gear would be fun because what I really like is um, one of the things that really is cool about the mid tier of Oblivion is like you'll have a dwarven axe right that does let's just say 15 frost damage where it's like okay there's a dwarven axe and then you find a, let's just say so what's something better like anything better than a dwarven axe like a glass axe where the glass axe does more damage than a dwarven axe but you hold on to it because the Dwarven Axe does more damage, you know, because of the Frost. But then you start having this weapon meta where both your axes, your enchanted one and your glass one, you know, one's a higher weapon tier, but one's enchanted. So they both kind of even out and you can start really specializing your gear. I love that in this game. I wish that that happened through the entire game, you know, not just parts of it in the uh, middle. You know, I don't like that in the middle of the game. It, it's, that's the only part where it really does it. Maybe the beginning too, when you don't have an enchanted item and you gotta find the silver things. But yeah, so that's really it. I think Oblivion could use more 
more gear that you can put on your character and also more types of gear just so you can specialize yourself more because there's nothing more fun than getting to level 45 and having an overpowered character and I just feel like like level 30 plus in Oblivion for what it could be is really 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 underwhelming for what it could be you know I think it's still cool because you end up with an OP character sometimes but other times you just it's just like you're like I'm not as powerful as I could be I always feel like I'm not as powerful as I could be and that I could just make a way cooler character so let me know what you think about in the comments below guys that's it for this video. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.